Hello there! Hello my dearest friends! So you came to see a healing guy on Ascension and man, it's the best time of your life you're gonna play a healer on Ascension. Uh, a lot of specs are very available to even uh, raid level, um, but you, you need to have like um, an understanding of how healing works and that, how it's categorized on Ascension. Uh, the main like uh, things to go in Ascension is if you play like uh, a usual healer you should go Spirit and if you play like a hybrid healer DPS you go Intellect. Um, I urge new guys always go Spirit and uh, there are actually two, two healing specs that are hybrid. I, my Warlock healer and uh, the Smite healer that I used on my previous videos I will use um, a link on the description so you can check them out. So now on to the, sp the regular healers that use spirit as their main stat. Um, they are categorized into nature healing and holy healing and uh, if you want to go spirit healing or critical healing. Uh, for, the, for, the, for the critical healers I would say paladin spells and uh, Restoration Summon Spells, and for uh, the, the, the Spirit Healers, I would say go more of a Druid uh, Healer or a, a Priest or a Holy Priest Healer. Um, uh, it's, very, it's very common that healers use now Titan Grip, because when you go to Titan Grip here, you will see that uh, healing is reduced by 5%. All damage is reduced by 50% and healing is reduced by 5% and you can offset this with an offhand. Uh, I, I don't use an offhand now but uh, if, you, if you see an offhand it, it gives me 6% 6, 6 more healing so it's even better to go Titan Grip. Uh, uh, people used to go Titan Grip with a staff and an offhand if they have a lot of spells that use cast times like Holy Light from Paladin or like Chain Healing and um, people do Titan Grip with uh, Hammer of Righteous Might and uh, Spell Power Weapon on main hand for the Double Earth Living if you use like uh, Hot and Eastern Cast like I'm using now you can go to 100 weapons um, something like uh, this could would work too, um, uh, but if you have the money to spend on the Hammer Rats might, uh, it's definitely worth it. As you see, I have like a, a lot of bonus healing, and uh, I, I don't like lose anything. I don't have too many custom um, spells uh, on this build. So uh, as you see, uh, this is more of like a spirit healer. It's like an all-purpose healer. I have it on the build finder, um, yeah, I will talk about this later. Uh, it, it's like a balanced, he has a lot of uh, raid healing with wild growth and chain healing and the, the improved healing totem. As you see, the totem heals for quite a lot. Free healing, that's a free healing on the raid. Uh, you do need to invest some talents and random enchant slots on it though to be good. Uh, so it's a little bit more critical and spell power. He's like um, an all-purpose healer. I can use uh, time healing with life bloom and the hots and uh, regrowth. Uh, I'm using seed of life. Now on to the, the legendary random enchants. So you know what you want to play. It's pretty fun to use them. Um, so Mending Tide used to be really good with Reptide, now not that much, it's, it's a fun, man, it used to make our eyes bleed, it used to have a huge explosion, really fun time. Uh, Seed of Life, I'm using this, very good, very good, uh, uh, not this, Blessing of Divines is if you want to have like, a, if you have a spec and you don't see a legendary random enchant that you like. This is a pretty, pretty good. Uh, it does a hot, a HP buff, and a damage reduction buff to the targets. Used to use that. Pretty nice. Um, 
this is good too, I guess. We're gonna keep on your diamonds with the next one. No, no, it's more of the PvP. Uh, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is like um, a cross breed with Priest and Paladin. Rare Preservation. Yeah, that, that's pretty fun. Uh, you do the Challenge of Burn of Healing and you get uh, three three buffs on on your on your team. And when you heal them, you get like a huge uh, a critical uh, heal. Pretty fun, pretty fun. But you have a, a good connection with this. You need to be fast. Growing Light. I'm using it on my Palace spec that I'm going to showcase in a little bit. Uh, pretty much staple for holy light spells uh, beacon of light it's always a very good one uh, low tide it's okay if you want to play more of a summon uh, words of healing never never use that to be honest um, probably more of a good one uh, overflow that, that's a fun one man. Uh, you just spam holy touch and healing touch and everyone is healing one button spec very fun spec. Uh, where is uh, Blooming Growth? Uh, I don't see it. Okay, uh, let me tell you about the meta builds. Uh, the meta builds are uh, Holy Radiance, uh, the Tranquility spec that you cast Tranquility every 35 seconds, and uh, the Bard spec that use Power Word Shield. Uh, that, they are meta, but there's not a huge difference with uh, the average build, so you can play a uh, build that, that you want and like and be pretty much viable. Uh, this actually the, the build I'm using now needs a lot of gear to be good but the Paladin build I'm gonna use next it doesn't need a lot of gear. And I would urge new players to play a Holy Light a Paladin build uh, until they get geared. Holy Light has uh, the most confession of the game and it's pretty important if you don't have gear. Uh, so, for the Tranquility spec, uh, they use Blooming Growth with uh, a Natural Synergy, uh, with Natural Synergy and Flow of Life to reduce, uh, to reduce Tranquility and Hasty Tranquility. And Hasty Tranquility, and you can use Tranquility every 36 seconds, pretty fun spec. Uh, Holy Radiance uh, Holy Radiance uh, uses uh, Faith Rekindled and uh, uh, Faith Rekindled and um, and Holy Servitude and uh, this now onto my Paladin spec that I use for Heroics and Mythics okay uh, this is more of um, Holy Light uh, spell uh, you don't have a lot of you don't need to have a lot of gear to use it. Uh, you just spam this, as you can see I have Flash of Light very fast, almost to global cooldown, to 1 second, and all Light is pretty fast too, and a lot of heals. I expect to be like critical on this, as you see I see have 39%, uh, 29%, like 30% critical and uh, it, it can go up to 35 or to 40 even sometimes with buffs and, um, and this this uh, this actually happens a lot 5% more critical and um, I heal a lot you can drop a uh, consecration of the holy ground on this pack and uh, my charge uh, as always you can find my specs on hero architect if you type magnus uh, the, the previous, the tree one was this spec, uh, tree raid heroic by Magnus, and the spec I'm using now is the holy light by Magnus. Okay. Um, I'm using a staff and an offhand with Titan Grip because most of my spells are with cast time, and uh, I, I need to have like a, a little bit more of a casting time, a fast casting time on this. Now, guys, always take a Tremor Totem, like always, and the Rebirth. You can drop a uh, Revive. Um, people have a, a, a move buff on Heroics, and um, on Reds, you really don't need to res if someone dies, probably white. Um, also, last thing, don't pre-heal uh, the, the tanks when they pull. They can, they can live without uh, healing for 2-3 seconds 
I will have a, an example later on the video. Now on to the macros. You need to have macros. I use uh, this on my on my tree spec. I use uh, this macro, which is natural alacrity and healing touch, and uh, as you can see, I just use this and boom, nice healing. Uh, also, healers need to have key binds, so uh, I would urge you to go into key binds and uh, like use them i always use q e r f c and the mouse buttons i use uh, r and c for like my my ray my rate healing or uh healing and uh, e and q for like a uh, single target healing um on to the pile again uh gearing this um uh on the, on the holy light I use more critical, as you see I will have more of a critical, like something like this, critical and spell power. And on my tree gear, uh, I'm using more of a spirit, um, where are, where is it? Yeah. Uh, I, I went with um, the tier set, the druid tier set that gives spirit, as you see. And I have a couple of uh, criticals too, just uh, to be like a little bit more rounded, but I'm mainly spirit as you see, okay? I don't have a lot of critical chance. Uh, that's it, I'm, I will have some examples now guys, please stay. Okay guys, this is an example of a not a geared healer, his healing is kind of low, he's not ready for heroics and he's not using uh, the holy light spec that's probably best for not geared people, too much blood force gear, pvp gear. Another example, uh, the healer also very low healing, I'm kind of doing this myself, you need to have like 1k healing on heroics and 2k on mythics. Uh, please healers, don't pre-heal the tank. You see now he put me a rejuvenation and growth and they are targeting him now he has aggro as you see healer. Uh, the tank can survive without healing for a couple of seconds. On to the paladin, pretty easy heal on the paladin spec, not much gear. Uh, you see a lot of heals with just a holy light and uh, the big um, that's an example, I'm using Holy Light and you see almost topped him with one heal 9k. Uh, Holy Light and Holy Shock are very very useful for this pack. Um, now I'm using Holy Light and I would probably use Holy Shock on the, the tank. Uh, even with uh, the debuff at 50% less uh, healing, I, I easily topped him and I reached 2k almost without breaking a sweat on the spec. Now onto my druid. As you see I use wild growth to have everyone with a hot and I just uh, pre-heal them with rejuvenation now. Uh, so uh, everyone should always be topped on uh, on this spec. I, I don't even use the other healing totem on this. Onto the raid healing. Um, as you see, I need to use uh, more of red healing, so chain heals and wild growth, and using the cooldowns. Now, you see now the cooldown just saved the main tank, the macro that I used. Uh, as you see, keep binding is very important, especially for raid healers. Uh, they take a lot of damage, and now you see I go almost to 4k healing pretty easy and everyone is stopped. Keep buying, save me, just target it and use whatever spell I Let's have on my... Okay, so. We actually managed to kill Heroic McTheridon with an 8-man group, as you see it's a good bug, uh, Elysian is here with us. Um, I use a lot of free growth on the raids and wild growth because I, I want to have uh, everyone topped. Thank you for coming guys, have an amazing day!